Welcome back, 613. Now, this week is the Great American Smokeout. Every year in November, the American Cancer Society asks all smokers to begin their journey toward a smoke free life. In Alabama, a significant portion of the population does smoke. Now, many people are turning to smokeless options like e cigarettes, believing that it's a healthier choice. Way 31 News anchor Naja Sherman looks into whether or not it's really a safer option. Huntsville resident Lindsey Duckworth told me he started smoking as a child. I don't know, as a kid, I. Thought it was cool, I suppose. And then eventually, what happened? Uh, I began smoking every day. But now Duckworth has a new incentive to kick the habit. He's a new father and wants to live a long, healthy life for his son. I just love being a father and just. You know, having someone depending on you. In Alabama, more than 24% of adults smoke. That's about one out of every four people. Some of them are turning to e cigarettes because they believe it's a healthier option. A report by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention shows about 3.7% of American adults use electronic cigarettes or vapor products on a regular basis. That figure represents more than 9 million adults. We wanted to know if it's really a better choice, so we took our questions to the American Cancer Society of Huntsville. As Community Development Manager Kaki Morrow explained, it's still too early to reach a conclusion. There's not enough regulation, there's not enough federal regulation around e-cigarettes. Um, there's not enough, you know, studies with long-term implications. We do know that smoking leads can lead to lung cancer. Um, and is the cause of 98% lung cancer cases, but we don't really know what kind of long-term effects e-cigarettes have. I reached out to managers at several different vape shops across the Tennessee Valley. They all declined my request for an on-camera interview. Researchers say e-cigarettes are less harmful than traditional cigarettes, but that doesn't mean e-cigarettes are safe. The CDC says e-cigarettes might contain potentially harmful substances, including heavy metals like lead, volatile organic compounds and cancer causing agents. I think that our generation is going to be the ones to really um, test out whether it's a healthy alternative or not. I think that there's a lot of um, health risks by doing that, but we just don't know what they are. Duckworth told me he tried e-cigarettes, but is uncomfortable with them until he learns more. In the meantime, he plans to use other methods to quit smoking. If you really want to kick the habit, the American Cancer Society has several recommendations on how you can quit smoking, but they say bottom line, there's just not enough information out there to determine how dangerous these devices really are. For Way 31 News, I'm Naja Sherman.